Good evening, my friends. I am super excited because today we get to check into the Conrad Orlando, which is located inside of the beautiful Evermore Resort for a lovely staycation. Now, I have already filmed a full tour from this place in great detail. However, today's video is going to be all about our actual experience as hotel guests. The Conrad Orlando is Florida's newest luxury resort as it's surrounded by that beautiful eight acre crystalline lagoon right in the middle of the Evermore Resort. The big thing about Conrad is they are known for their five star signature service and I can't wait to experience this for myself. And if you are a Hilton Honors member, you can use your points to stay here. Let's not waste any more time. We have so much to experience on this vacation. I do want to say a massive thank you to Conrad Orlando for having us out. I hope you guys are ready because we are. Let's go do this. All right, welcome back to the Conrad Orlando. This is the main entrance right here where you will valet your car or if you're getting dropped off, this is where you'll enter. And then once you make it inside, this is the main lobby. Look at this beautiful view of the lagoon. My goodness, I love this hotel so much. And then walking over this way, this is the check-in area. Oh, look at this. The boat is running inside of the lagoon. Just like that, we are all checked in. Let's head up to our room. There's the spa. We get to check that out tomorrow. We are on level three now, heading up to level four. Whoa, this is wild. I am loving the architecture of this hotel. Okay, we have made it to our beautiful room here on the fourth floor. This is a king room with a pool view. Yes. What do you think so far, babe? It's beautiful. When I first walked into this hotel, I got a glimpse of the lagoon. I like told when you. When you first walk in, it's stunning. I had to like remove my sunglasses. It's gorgeous here. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> and from the moment we arrived after valeting our car, I mean, it's been so seamless. Yeah. Everybody has been so extremely kind here and it's just off to a wonderful start. Yes. But for now, let's give you a quick room tour. That's the front door. And I like how as soon as you walk in, you have this shelf here. That way you can put your room card, your keys, sunglasses, things like that. And then you have a full length mirror. That way you can check your fit. I really like the light switches here. And then here at Conrad Orlando, they do turn over service every single day of your visit. If you don't want that, you can press do not disturb and they will not enter. But if you want your room made up, you can hit make up room. And now on to the bathroom. This bathroom is absolutely glamorous. It's beautiful. We've got marble. We've got the lighting in the mirrors. His and her sinks. I love this. <laughs> There's even different light features. Oh yeah. So right now it's set to day and then you have a relax feature which just tones it down. Perfect for nighttime. Yeah. And then look at all of the toiletries. Yeah. We have mouthwash, we have some other things in there. And then over here you have a little door that just connects to the bed. You have some hooks right here. And then you have a walk-in <laughs> shower. Look at that. Lovely. So pretty, the marbles like yeah. ceilings floor. Okay. Love that. I like this privacy door that you have <laughs> for the toilet area. I do really like the underneath lighting down below the sink. Moving out of the bathroom now, you have your closet space. And I love how hidden and tucked away the closet space is. Yeah. Then you have a safe right here. And then I like this because you have like Places to put like your jewelry, things your watches, like that. Yeah, it's very nice. And then you have an iron right here, plenty of shelving. And then here's the main closet space where you put your luggage, hangers. They do offer laundry service. You have an extra pillow and blanket up top. What's this? Oh, for your shoes. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Fancy. Very fancy. I was wondering what was the purpose of this box here in the closet. It's for your laundry. And then you have some robes right here. Sorry, we have our luggage in there right now. You have slippers. And I like how when you open the door, the lights come on. Yeah. Moving on to the rest of the room, you have a 
coffee nook area with a Nespresso machine. You have your room service menu. And then up here, you can find your wine glasses and cups, bottle opener. That's a very nice touch. And then down here, this is where you can find your coffee, your cream, sugar, tea. And then they do have a mini bar but it's not in operation right now. Over here, you can find a electric kettle, and then that's the door that will lead you over to the bathroom. I feel like a lot of people will use this at nighttime, that way you don't have to walk all the way around. And then you have a very nice big TV. And then you have your dresser space. Look how massive this drawer is. Very nice. Then you have two more down there. And then something that I really like about the Conrad Orlando there's a number that you can call on your phone and they will come fill up your ice bucket for you. And there's your ice bucket. We also have a bottle of Aguapana, my favorite. A seating area. Looks like they left us a little gift. You have USB ports and outlets right there. Oh, one more thing. I did just notice this couch does turn into a bed. There you go. So if you have multiple people in this room with you, you have a second option. And then here's the king size bed. This looks so comfortable. More USB ports and outlets. This TV does have Netflix, which is again, another really nice touch. And then something else in this drawer. This is where you can find like your notepad and postcards, envelopes. You have a chair, a table, there's our friend, Mr. Orange Bunny. You have an outlet. This is a very spacious balcony. You have a couch. And here's the view that we have. How beautiful is this? This pool is only for Conrad Orlando guests. If you're staying on the Evermore side, you cannot use this pool. So this is a really nice amenity. And then regarding the lagoon, anybody can enjoy the lagoon here at the Evermore Orlando Resort. You have some private cabanas over there. And then these are the flats at the Evermore Resort. And then the Crystal Line Lagoon is just right over there. You can see a little bit of it. Oh my goodness, those loungers look so comfortable. And then for the little ones, you have a splash pad right over there. And then you can find more private cabanas. They have some poolside games, some bathrooms, everything that you need. By the way, if you're staying on the first floor, look at the patio that you get. Talk about space. There's the thermostat. And then this light switch has a feature for wake, which it's on right now. Work and relax. I like the work one. And that's our room. I mean, one thing that I just absolutely love about this specific room is how inviting it is. From the moment you walk in the door, I love the color choices the designer went with. It's just very cozy and welcoming, you know? And then I love the view that we have from the balcony, but these chocolates have been looking at me <laughs> since we walked in. I think Bianca just tried one. How was it? Decadent. Mm. So good. Yeah. I'm gonna have one right now. <laughs> These chocolates are delicious. I had a strawberry and white chocolate one and then myself and Bianca, we split the coconut one. Oh my goodness. We need to figure out where they got these chocolates from because we need to order some more. They were that good. Yeah. So the game plan for the rest of the evening, we have dinner reservations at Saba which is their signature restaurant. It was actually not open back when I filmed the full resort tour that's located on the eighth level all the way on the roof. And I have heard you can see the Disney fireworks from this restaurant. I can't wait for that. We have about another 45 minutes until our dinner reservation. So I think we're just going to unpack, get comfortable, freshen up and then it's time for dinner. We're both starving. It is just about 7 p.m. which means it is time for our dinner reservation. This is a Mexican restaurant but with a twist. Let's go find out what that twist is. Ooh, how fancy. There's some restrooms right there. The check-in counter is right there. And then you can walk this way into the outdoor rooftop lounge. 
Look at this view. See Disney. I see Epcot. I see the castle. What? The castle. <laughs> oh yeah, that's Magic Kingdom. Oh my goodness. Look at this shot of Epcot. That is Expedition Everest, Animal Kingdom right there. Yeah, we'll definitely see some fireworks up here. I don't think video is doing this any justice. It's, it's definitely not. Stunning. Yeah. <laughs> this is gorgeous. It really is. I just cannot get over this place. Oh, I'm just taking it all in. It looks like it's even fun for the little ones. We see many children. Yeah. It's perfect for families. There's a lot of families here. So this is what the outdoor lounge looks like. It's pretty spacious. You have plenty of places to sit and chill, maybe have a adult beverage. It is open air up here. And then you just wait around until your host comes and grabs you and takes you to your table. We made it to our table and look at this view. This is where we get to have dinner this evening. There's Disney Springs right over there. Here's a quick look at what this restaurant looks like. I mean, look at the design. So pretty, it really is. By the way, look at the cups. They're definitely handmade. Yeah, look at that. They're all signed on the bottom. Homemade cups. I kind of forgot how to use the My Disney Experience app because it's been so long, but Happily Ever After starts at 8.30 and Luminous starts at 9. Here's the cocktail menu. This restaurant is known for their tequila. They have a lot of really good options. I don't know what to get. They also have margaritas, of course. I think I may start out with a margarita just because, you know, this is a Mexican restaurant. They have tastings, and of course, they have wine and champagne. They do offer a few mocktails to choose from as well. Here's an overview of the dinner menu. I don't even know where to begin. I was just told that we should order the guacamole by our server, Christian. It's made from the Playa Club, and then it's brought up here, and they add blue crab meat and smoked trout to the guacamole. It's elevated, yeah. They got quesabiria, Bianca's favorite, cornitos. Another favorite. Wow. Yellowtail snapper, enchiladas, short rib. All right, I have some uh, decisions to make here. Starting off with a few adult beverages. I ordered the pinata, which is a pineapple margarita. Our server Christian said this is one of the most ordered things here and it rotates, look at this. So cool, there's a dehydrated pineapple slice on the top and then Bianca got a shot of tequila and she has to try it because you saw this off Girls Trip. Yes, Real Housewives on Peacock. <laughs> yeah, it smells very strong, I can smell it from here. <laughs> this is the tequila that Bianca is trying this evening. Look at the bottle. Cheers, my love. Cheers, baby. What do you think about your drink? It's delicious. I'm not a big drinker, so I just wanted to try this tequila. I'm not disappointed. Well, you've heard really good things about it. Yes, if you watch the girls' trip Housewives on Peacock, you'll know. Yeah. <laughs> this was a big hit on that show. <laughs> I just tried it. Missing bottle. It's not as super strong yeah. as normal tequila is. It's quite light. And then it has like a hint of like banana liqueur or just like banana flavor in there. Yeah. Really good. That's definitely a tequila where you can just sip on and enjoy. I really enjoyed my piñata margarita. It's light, it's refreshing. Bianca liked it, not too heavy. The lights on Spaceship Earth just turned on. 
You can see it from our dinner table. Bianca also ordered a Arnold Palmer, and I just tried it. It's really fresh. Like, they just brewed the tea. It has a little bit of a floral taste. Yeah, I like lemon it. on the top, too. Also, we have a real candle. Next up, we are trying the homemade chips and salsa. There's nothing like fresh, homemade tortilla chips. Those really make a difference. They really stand out. And the salsa has a bit of a sweet flavor to it, but then also has a bit of a kick towards the end. This is definitely not your typical salsa. And I just noticed there's pumpkin seeds on the top. Tzatziki cream, cheese, uh, beef, uh, pico fresno, garro escabeche, and tatemada salsa de tomatillo. The food is coming fast and furious right now. I'm so happy. We got the guacamole with the crab and trout, and I believe there's some caviar in there as well with chips. Then Bianca got the quesadilla, which looks amazing. We have the consomme right there. I want a bite of that. We destroyed the salsa and chips, by the way. And then I got the carnitas. This smells so good. Let's dig in, babe. Let me tell you, those carnitas, I'm not kidding, and I'm not just saying this because I was invited out. Those were the best carnitas I've ever had in my life. The meat was just so juicy and tender. The whole dish was very flavorful. The salsa it came with, very good. And then you have the pickled vegetables that come on the side, very spicy. If you don't like spice, don't eat that, but I really enjoy spice. Overall, this was just a fantastic dish, 10 out of 10. And then the guacamole, my goodness, very good. So much flavor, it's so fresh. The crab meat is amazing, super fresh. And then Bianca's birria, I thought it was very dang good. The consomme, delicious, Bianca loved it. This is Mexican fine dining at its best. Seva has left me impressed. Bianca ordered the quesadilla again because it was that good. Instead of ordering a main entree, she just said, heck it, I'll just have one more order. The server loved it. The treasure. Look at that. I did order another adult beverage because this was highly recommended by our server as well. This is called the Treasure. This has absinthe in it, which I'm very eager and excited about. And then there's a chocolate covered plantain chip. And our server said if I take a bite and then have the drink, that's how this drink should be enjoyed. So let's try it. This drink is something special. This is absolutely delicious. I love the black pepper flavor. Flavor. I love the banana flavor. It has a nice citrus kick to it, but that absent, man, it's that smooth, it's that good. And then once you take a bite of the chocolate covered plantain chip and then take a sip, wow, the game changes. There's happily ever after. We have the enchiladas verdes de pollo. So good. It has chicken and cheese, pickled red onions, avocados. It smells so good. They're very traditional looking. And then we have round number two for Bianca. <laughs> I love them. They're so good. I love Bidia Tacos. Look how sexy the bathrooms are right outside of the restaurant. The manager of the restaurant brought out a dessert for us to try. These are just little petite desserts. He said a lot of time and effort went into these. That was good, huh, babe? Really good. It was sweet and sour. Yeah. I love it. It was the right amount of sourness to it. I just got a burst of like passion fruit, guava. Yeah. Yeah. White chocolate. Oh, the white chocolate was really good. Yeah. By the way, the enchiladas, phenomenal. I mean, they were very traditional. What really stood out to me were the corn tortillas. They were freshly made. That chicken was so tender and juicy, just had a ton of flavor. I really recommend that dish. And now we can see Luminous over at Epcot. Finishing things off with actual dessert. This is the corn on the cob. What is this, babe? 
So he said it's obviously it's not real corn on the cob. There's like a vanilla sweet corn custard inside. I'm excited to open it. <laughs> yeah, it's very unique and different. There's actual kernels. I see. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. Okay. Look at that. Bianca's getting a bit of a kick at the end. I haven't tasted any jalapeno. I think there is. There's little green specks in the bottom here. Okay. We'll have to ask Chris. It does have like a like a sweet kettle corn flavor to it. It's crazy because I feel like I'm eating actual corn, but I'm not. <laughs> then you have the vanilla custard. You know, this dessert is very different and unique. But when you're on vacation, when you're experiencing a fine dining establishment like this, you should want to try things you wouldn't normally order. And I feel like this is definitely that dish. It's good. I can confirm Bianca is correct. <laughs> there are bits of jalapeno. I just had one. I definitely taste it. And then the outer shell is like white chocolate, right? Yeah, it's really good. I like it. Does it feel like corn? <laughs> it does. The texture is like corn on the cob. <laughs> I did want to show you there is a lounge here at the front of the restaurant. It's first come, first serve. Here's the bar. And look at all of the ingredients. They make their drinks fresh here in house. Everybody is working so hard here at the restaurants. There are tables here in the lounge. You do not need a reservation if you want to come enjoy the lounge. But again, it is first come, first serve. But for the main dining area, you do need a reservation. Leaving the restaurant now, and I wanted to show you one more look of the outdoor lounge area. And fun fact, this roof here is completely retractable. Something to note, anybody can eat here. You don't have to be staying at this hotel or at Evermore. Let's just say if you're a local or if you're just in town visiting, if you want to dine here, you don't have to pay to park because it is $50 per day to park here. So if you dine here, you do get validation included. Right in front of me, we have the Magic Kingdom. Can anybody guess where the Ticket and Transportation Center is? <laughs> The orange lights. The lights. It really does. And then we have the moon. The little crescent moon is so cute. Just got back to the room, and what do we have here? We got turn down service. <laughs> what a treat. I didn't even think that existed. This is. Anymore. I know! <laughs> wow. They put a bottle of aquapana bedside with the glass, and then I just never see this anymore. They got the bed ready for us. This is so peaceful. Sounds like we're back in Hawaii. <laughs> wow. We're just out here enjoying life, taking all of this in. That was a very well-paced dinner experience. I have never been to a fine dining Mexican restaurant. That was a first for me and everything was just phenomenal. The service was phenomenal. The atmosphere was great. We got to see not one, but two Disney World firework shows from that restaurant. There's not that many places, especially around the greater Orlando area that I would highly recommend outside of just like the traditional theme park area. Yes, we're within minutes from Walt Disney World, but we're not on Disney property. And I would go out of my way to come back to dine at Seva. Just this entire experience, again, from the moment we valeted our car, we walked in, everybody was so helpful and friendly. I did not even have to touch our luggage. They took care of it. They brought it to the room and it's just been a very great experience. It's been very comfortable. It's been extremely quiet. This is just a nice experience and you truly have to be here to experience the full thing. Video does not do this place justice as I've said in the last two videos from this place and Conrad Orlando they really 
know how to do service here. I mean, they go above and beyond and we have even more to experience tomorrow. But for now, we're going to go to bed. We're both so exhausted from dinner and this bed is very comfortable and cozy. We have already laid in it. So I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is now the next day. We slept great. We came out on the balcony and we're just taking in this beautiful view of the pool. We have a super fun day, super jam packed. We're about to head down to level three, which is the main lobby. We're going to grab some breakfast, grab some coffee, and then we have a couple's massage at the Conrad Spa, which we are very excited about. And then after the spa, we're going to be spending all day around the lagoon and the pool, laying out, getting some sun. And then, you know, from my last visit, I have to go back to the Papaya Club, which is the Tiki Bar. And we have so much to do. And then tonight we have the grand opening party. It's going to be a fun day. Let's go do this. Picking up some breakfast here at the Little Spoon, which is their grab and go quick service location. They have shots here with turmeric. They also have some juices to choose from. Hey Bianca, does this tequila look familiar? It sure does. It's a beautiful bottle. They have a chia parfait, overnight oats, fresh fruit, yogurt, kombucha, and then they have some salads down here. What's this? Greek olive mix. Okay. We got a egg and cheese empanada, overnight oats, a pistachio croissant. This looks so good. Look at the little Tabasco it came with. And then we got iced Americanos. Look at what the inside looks like of this <laughs> pistachio croissant. It's so good. That's wild. <laughs> And we get to enjoy this view of Evermore Bay. Everything was so good with this being a grab and go quick service location. Very fresh, everything was made to order, but the highlight was that pistachio croissant. If you see that while you're here, get it because the gentleman at the cash register said they do sell out every single morning and we got the last one. All right, we're back in the room. We're about to head back downstairs to level three to enjoy the Conrad Spa. We are going to be getting there about 45 minutes before our service starts just to enjoy the spa amenities like the outdoor garden area. They have a sauna, a steam room, things like that. And then we'll enjoy our service and then probably enjoy more of the spa amenities and then head back over to the lagoon and the pool area. I am going to be switching over to the phone and or the GoPro. And here we are. That's the front of the hotel. Just walking over in this direction, and this is where you can find the Conrad Spa. We have kombucha shots. Thank you so much. I wanted to show you, they do offer a salon here. If you would like to get your hair done, they have you covered. And then in this room, you can get your manis and petties. I'm not going to go in there right now because there's guests in there. That's where you will first enter the spa. They have all kinds of products that you can buy. And then here's the recovery zone, which would be great after a long park day. Once you check in, you will come down these stairs or take the elevator. These are the locker rooms. They have fruit infused waters, hot tea, a few books that you can read. And then that's the water garden right out there. And here's the water garden. So once you change, you can come out here and kind of hang yes, out, you right? you can come here before or after the treatment. And uh, this is a 12,000 square feet of land. Wow. So all, all our fauna come for part of Florida. And we we'll offer three specialities as well with the hot plunge, cold plunge, and vitality pool. There's a cold plunge? Yes, sir. Oh, so man. It's like you guys knew. <laughs> yeah. How tropical is this? It will be more beautiful in a few months when, when all the fun is starting Everything to grow. grows in. Perfect, so just wait here. It would be around, set around 100, 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh my gosh, I know. And here's your, your the cold plunge. plunge. It will be yes. set around 53 degrees Fahrenheit. 53 cold, degrees. But it's calling my name. To do like a, like a jump in between. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Help it to reduce inflammation as well with blood circulation 
and muscle curry. It's pretty good. Too. And we recommend to use it two to five minutes. Two to five <laughs> minutes. Yep. And this is just this normal is like temperature. Like a warm food, it will be around set around ninety eight. Oh, that's nice. Just like a warm. Yeah. If you are wanting to get the jets in here, so it will be around seven seconds. So we'll be getting like strong for the jets. So they're very powerful. Oh, you can see oh my. Yes, happy to as well with loose inflammation as well and happy to like maybe know what bag right. and what fits. I also like how you have towels already put out. Yes, yeah. Plenty of chairs, some showers. This area is just for the females. This is just the place to come and relax. It's more private and tucked away. It's just right on the other side of the garden. We are inside of the man's locker room right now. We have a steam room. Feels great. There's the sauna. Oh man, it feels wonderful. It is. Inflammation as well. We detox the body and help it to reduce and help it to one more calories in the day. Oh, the shower you were telling me about. Wow. And you can tackle life, therapy, water pressure, and fragrance. The bottom means I that's the one that I love most because it really can make names. Oh, I smell it. Polar mm -hmm. mist, Caribbean storm, Atlantic storm. Showers. There's hair dryers, body lotion, deodorant, hairspray, toothbrush, a comb. And then you can find the lockers and everybody will have a locker when you receive a treatment. You get a fancy robe, towel, some hangers, there's a hook in there, slippers, a place to put your belongings. Yeah, I'm gonna change and go enjoy myself. This is just the definition of a luxury resort and I'm so lucky to have this here in Central Florida it's already off to a fantastic start, but I have changed. I'm going to enjoy this amazing shower and then I'm going to hop in the steam room for a bit. And then I'm going to meet up with Bianca for our couples massage. And then also the spa is surprising me with a facial after the massage. How cool. Thank you, Conrad. Let's try Caribbean Storm. Yeah. I just got out of the steam room. I love steam rooms. They are just so relaxing, so peaceful, so calming. I feel great. And Lewis, who is helping me out here, brought me a cold towel, which was lovely. Now I'm going to take one more quick shower and get ready for our couple's massage. Are you ready? I'm so ready for this, I can't wait. This one is a water bed. I think this is the one Bianca's going to enjoy. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I have never seen this before. And then over here, I'm going to enjoy the stone bed. And this is just firmer, which I like. Keeps you grounded, she said. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. You ready, babe? I'm ready. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. This was phenomenal. I loved the stones. This is such a neat concept. Very firm. It is quite warm. Amazing. And now it is time for my facial. This is the room. I'm very excited to get this treatment. Just got done with my facial. That was incredible. I feel extremely relaxed. I feel so at peace. Another thing to note, the beds are fully customizable, so your therapist can move the bed to your liking. Let's go enjoy more of the spa amenities outside. They have a couple of soaking tubs out here. What? They even have a larger one back here in the corner for more privacy. What do you think, babe? Well, this is wonderful. This is the best spa in Orlando. I'm saying it. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I'm proclaiming it. This is amazing. It absolutely is. I think I'm going to enjoy the cold plunge. It's so good for you. Has so many really good health benefits. And then once I get out, I'll enjoy the warmer pool over here. Ooh. Ooh. 
Oh my gosh, it's cold. We have a lovely car alarm going off. Oh man. Oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> it's colder than Alaska. I did it. That's crazy. Thank you, Lewis. I appreciate it. We have some water. Cal Red. <laughs> also, there's the fitness center on the second level of the spa. I left the Conrad Spa feeling relaxed and rejuvenated. Our 50 minute breath of reconnection couples massage was incredible and I can't recommend this enough, especially for any couples who would like a day of pampering and to enjoy some quality time with one another. My 50 minute five elements bespoke facial was excellent. I left the Conrad Spa with my skin glowing and hydrated. The skin products that they use are imported from France with natural Moroccan spices infused. You begin and end your treatment with the five Conrad breaths, leaving you feeling completely refreshed. The Conrad Spa is a great experience and should not be missed on your next Orlando vacation. Okay, welcome to Evermore Bay. Look at this beautiful sand sculpture. We are now going to enjoy the lagoon. I'm gonna lay out, enjoy some sunshine. There's the Conrad right here. But first, I'm heading over to the Papaya Club to get my drink on. I love this place so much. This is a tiki bar and they also have food here. Here's a quick look at their menu as far as their signature cocktails. I think I may go with a classic Mai Tai. You can never go wrong with that when it's done right. Here are the mocktails. Bianca just said she loves this place. It's a perfect getaway. It's like an oasis. It's perfect for like a honeymoon. Yes. I remember when you first toured this uh, location here. Yeah. And you came to the Papaya Club and told me when you came back home, I really want to bring you here. And now we're here and this is amazing. It's time to get our drink on. I went with the Mai Tai. It smells so good. And then Bianca got a frozen pina colada. This is exactly how I like my Mai Tais. Nice and strong, very tropical. This is such a treat to sip on lagoon side. The food is here. Bianca went with the Thai steak salad. This looks so good. Look at the steak and avocado. And there's noodles underneath too. Wow. I cannot wait to dig in. Go ahead. I won't stop you. <laughs> and then here's my chicken wings. They're very different and unique. I went with the Kong Pao seasoning. So For my next adult beverage, I ordered myself the Envante with the tequila that Bianca liked last <laughs> night. This has almond, lime, orange bitters. This looks so good. I'm just appreciating it right now <laughs> because it's so unique looking. And also I'm feeling good from that Mai Tai. I just said hello to the president of Walt Disney World, Mr. Jeff. He is here for the event. That was interesting, <laughs> pretty cool. But now we found a couple of lounge chairs. We're going to enjoy Evermore Bay. I'm finally going to get inside of the lagoon. I am finally inside of the Crystal Line Lagoon here at Evermore, Orlando. It's a little chilly. Look at this view. Oh, look at this. I'm in Orlando, right? Not the Caribbean, not the Bahamas. Not Turks and Caicos, what? Are you on your tippy toes? <laughs> also, the bottom of the lagoon, very smooth. It's not rough. I think these ducks are a little bit confused. <laughs> now, as you're enjoying the lagoon, if you're sitting in any of the lounge chairs here on the Conrad Orlando side, you do have the option to order drinks from the Papaya Club. You can also order pizza from 
Wave Pizza, just scan this QR code. They also have servers that will come around to see if you need anything. You have the option to rent private cabanas. There's also a bar here if you just wanna walk up, grab a drink. I did want to mention because of the recent time change, the new bay hours are from 7.30 a.m. until 8 o'clock p.m. Also, you can rent kayaks if you're staying at the Conrad Orlando for an hour each day. You just head over to the landing, which is right there on the Evermore side. Made it back up to the room after enjoying some sunshine around Evermore Bay and our room has been cleaned. And I love that they do this here because like Bianca said yesterday, you just don't see this anymore at any resort. So this is just a nice amenity to have. And over here, we have our credentials for tonight's grand opening event. And we can already hear the Goo Goo Dolls rehearsing outside. We were getting ready for the grand opening party and we heard a knock at the door and look what we got. How fancy is this? This was made by a culinary master chef. This is called the Sunshine Citrus Delight and it's a sweet, citrus flavored cake and it goes well with the grand marnier it says take oh sips is that it. what it is oh man the inside is chocolate myself and bianca we love orange and chocolate it just mixes so well together and then we have this to sip on as well all right it's party time let's head back down to evermore bay and here we are there's definitely a party going on right now as the sun is setting for the day we have even more food and drinks to try. Really quick, because I'm right here, I wanted to show you the arrival departure lounge. Let's just say if you arrive here to the Conrad Orlando a little bit earlier before your room is ready, this is just a place where you can come. There's lockers, you can change into your bathing suits, go enjoy the pool, go enjoy Evermore Bay. Or on departure day, let's just say checkouts at 11, your flight isn't until about 6 p.m. You can just come in here and chill out before you head out to the airport. Not to mention, here at the Conrad, they do offer a kids club. Good morning. It's checkout day. Last night was so much fun. I will say, Conrad and Evermore, you guys know how to throw a party. That was one heck of a celebration. We had way too much fun. We just came back to the room and passed out. And here we are, about to check out. Just wanted to take in one last view. It was a fantastic stay. We were here for three days and we loved every single second. I can't wait to come back about a month and a half ago when I first filmed that full resort tour of Conrad and the Evermore Resort. I just fell in love with this place just because it's so unique and different from anything else that you see here in Central Florida. It truly feels like you're vacationing in paradise with this huge crystalline lagoon. You have a golf course, so many restaurants, just so many options. And then if you stay here at Conrad Orlando, they do offer included transportation to take you to and from all four Walt Disney World parks. And that's something else to keep in mind. We did not get a chance to do that on this visit just because we were enjoying the amenities here at the resort. But there's just something for everybody here. I can't recommend Conrad Orlando enough. This is truly the definition of a luxury vacation. And just from the moment you walk in to the moment you leave, they are just taking great care of you with that Hilton service. We met so many employees 
that came from the Waldorf Orlando to the Conrad Orlando. So you just have that incredible service all over this place. I do wanna say a massive thank you to the team here at Conrad Orlando for hosting us and taking great care of us. Like I said, I can't wait to come back. Let me know if you guys are planning on staying here at the Conrad Orlando or just visiting the Evermore Orlando Resort in general. I love this place and I think everybody needs to experience this, especially if you want a leisure vacation. If you want something different than just nonstop on the go, go, but you still want to visit the theme parks. If you just want, you know, a different touch on how to vacation, I think this place is for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you guys so much. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.